Hey guys, it's Mr. Bison. Well done, you have finished Core Pure. What a crazy feeling. And I wanna to talk to you about some of my thoughts from this paper and give you some advice of what to do for kind of like the next steps, because obviously we're only halfway through the further maths exam. So to start off with, I will tell you what I think about this paper. I do think it was easier than Core Pure paper one. There were obviously some challenging bits here and there. I'll go through the questions in a bit more detail in just a second. And right now with only 640 votes, 77% of people gave it three stars, meaning better than expected. But better than expected is probably relative to pure paper one. So I don't necessarily think 77% of people thought it was easy. 15% of people gave it two stars as expected and only 8% of people said that it was worse than they expected. Some things that I found surprising about this paper was we'd already had some questions about complex numbers, two of them, maybe three of them, no, two of them. And we had more in this paper. I think we've had one, two, potentially three if, if the roots goes into complex numbers. I don't think it does though. So two more complex numbers questions. I was really pleased to see the vector modeling question and it was a nice straightforward vector modeling question with that arrow and the archer. Um, there was an induction question with linear transformations, which I was so pleased because a question similar to that was in my in-between session that so many people came to, which I was very, very grateful for. I hope that that in-between session was useful for you guys. The second complex numbers question did have a tricky part. There was a bit with some range where it had the modulus of Z minus W. We just needed to know that this meant the distance between Z and W, which was the, di the distance between the, the circles that you had. So you're starting to think of it going through the center. It's kind of an interesting question that they had there. The matrices consistency question, if you came to my Corpio 1 aiming for A star session, you will have seen a question very similar to that and been prepared for it. Roots of polynomials, I did think was a bit more challenging because it was a quartic and we just know that there's a lot more algebra that goes with that. But again, it's something we could have prepared for. And the polar question is where I know people would have found things challenging because it was polar with modeling as I thought that it might be. And it had some stuff to do with vertical tangents, lots of area stuff. But if you've seen my live streams, if you've come to my Corpio 2 session, if you came to the in-between session, we've done loads and loads of stuff on polar. And then the last couple of questions, I was expecting something really crazy. The Maclaurin question was kind of something we could have prepared for a lot of differentiation of those functions. And then the last question was only a two mark, a two mark and a three mark, which I thought was really surprising. And of course, that last three mark was a bit tricky. You had to recognize that you were doing the sine of arc sine of 3x. And when you do the sine of an arc sine, they cancel out, so you just get the 3x. And I also think there was a little twist at the end where when you solved it, you took the roots of the equation, so you had a positive and a negative, you had to decide which one you needed to take. I'm not gonna say which one that I think it would be though, even though I do know which one it should be because I subbed it back in and checked. So I know people are gonna say in the comments about grade boundaries. It is so impossible to predict grade boundaries, especially after two papers. And especially as last year, the variety of challenge levels in the options modules was huge. FP1 had a grade boundary of 72 out of 75 for an A star, whereas things like Further Stats 1 had some of the most challenging questions. Same with Decision 1 as well. So I do think this is kind of feeling similar to 2024. That first paper this year has been a bit more challenging. This one feels perhaps a little bit more straightforward, but there's really not much point in making these predictions about grade boundaries because we don't know what they're gonna be. And it might get you in your head and starting to panic about, you know, how do you need to do in the next ones to get the grade that you need for university, blah, 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 blah. What you should be worrying about is just doing your very, very best. That means getting as much revision in and making sure that you're as prepped as possible for those options modules that you've got. Now, you've probably heard me mention about the in-between session and some of my aiming for A star sessions. For those next steps, if you do want to come and get a recording of my, there's one for Further Pure 1, Further Mechanics 1, and Further Stats 1, there are sessions that are ready to download, ready to watch them on Zoom, there's like a whole set of extra questions that come with it as well. So if you do feel like you need a little bit of extra help, and the fact I've mentioned that lots of the things that came up in this paper were things I have directly prepared students for, it might be a really good thing for you guys to have a look at. Of course, my videos on the channel should be enough to support you with these things anyway, although they are the members' videos. Um, but if you've used those, you should be in a really solid position to be able to be successful with this. So I just wanna say another big, huge well done for finishing Core Pure. If you're not doing any pure stuff for further maths anymore, that's all that stuff kind of put to bed. Obviously, if you're doing further pure one or further pure two, you'll probably still be using some of these techniques. So half term is next week. I'll try and get some uh, live streams in for normal maths. Maybe I'll do some bits for options modules later on as well. Huge congratulations.
that's the first 50% of further maths done. Let me know how it was and I hope to see you in another video sometime soon guys. Bye.